Uh, I am Chris Seifer. I'm the immediate past president of the Themed Entertainment Association, and I'm chair of the educational program. I like to call that my retirement club. Um, and this is Anne Hathaway, who is also uh, on the international board of the TEA, and she and I are your co-chairs for day one of the summit this year. Um, at the 2015 um, International Board Strategic Planning Meetings, we spent actually at the 2014, um, this goes back uh, more than a year, um, planning meetings, we spent a lot of time talking about TEA's assets and knowledge base. And we talked about the fact that we have access to and use data to support the work we do, but we don't really focus on this. Uh, the attendance report that AECOM and TEA publish every year is a really great example of what I'm talking about. But aside from that, we tend to showcase and focus on the creative. And the analysis, while important, just doesn't seem as compelling. Well, we're about to change your thinking about that. As Christine and I began planning the content for this day, we thought it should also have more of a connection to day two a day when owners and designers have a chance to talk about their partnership and creating some pretty amazing projects. So our first focus became the industry by the numbers. Today, we're gonna to look at the big picture, then we're gonna look at global trends, local impacts, and finally, we're gonna look at the user perspective. Then the other part of our discussion and planning included a coffee with Chris Conti, as all planning sessions should. And, uh, he suggested to us that there was that one of the questions he'd like to explore related to telling original stories and all that is involved in making the decision to not work with a known IP, but actually go original. Um, and that actually ties nicely into what we're talking about here today, as you will see um, when um, Chris and his panel uh, take to the stage. Um, and um, and uh, to explore some projects and some perspectives on uh, on um, working with original um, stories, and then finally, um, our last and very exciting presentation um, is a presentation about the Thea Classic Award recipient. And we don't always get to hear about that project um, uh, or uh, property um, every year in the case studies day. So we decided that as a finale for this day, it would be great to have someone um, from Disney come and talk to us about this year's recipient, which is It's a Small World. So Kim Irvine will join us later today to talk about um, uh, uh, that project. Um, and and it's not really a project, that, that uh, iconic attraction and, uh, and uh, share some stories with us. So a great way to end our day. Um, I would like, um, I think we're going to do um, a short exercise here, which Roberta and Pat did last year, and it was very beneficial. Um, I've already done this this morning, so I'm exempt from this exercise. Um, but I'd like for you to, um, we're going to take five minutes before Chris comes up here and explains his little project. And, um, and I'd like for you to um, meet two people, exchange business cards with two people who you don't know in the room. So let's just take five minutes and do that um, and do that. Okay. 